Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we've got something just a little bit different. Yes, remarkably enough, what we have today is very different. Toy Land Rover Defender. This is a battery powered one. It's got forward reverse. It's got a lead acid battery contained under the seat. 12 volt, 10 amp hour. But what I intend to do today is to convert it to these 18 volt M18 batteries. To have a closer look under the seat at the battery, the pair is this thing. It's this big old hunker of a lead acid battery. And this one is 12 volt 10 amp hour. It takes actually 12 hours for the charging system in this Land Rover to charge us up and it only runs for 30 minutes so that's not good enough. So with 12 hours charge and 30 minutes run time there's not much fun to be had there. You could just connect up this M18 battery directly to the system. This 18 volt. But unfortunately that has been tried before by the owner of this and he blew out the circuit board. That circuit board had to be replaced. So what I'm going to do is with the aid of a voltage dropper and the battery connector I'm going to make this work in this vehicle. In order to make this conversion work I got these two items from somewhere, some location on the Asian continent. This is a battery adapter, this will connect to my battery and I'll connect this to this this is a voltage dropper, it'll take, from 18, take the voltage from 18 to 12 so 18 goes in here, 12 comes out here so we start this conversion with the voltage dropper first step is attaching a couple of connectors to the 12 volt output wires I want to attach these with straight ends on the 12 volt output because I want to keep the little Land Rover original so if so we can go back to the original battery and remove this but um I definitely want to cover the heat shrink over the red so it's not a mistake for the leaf I definitely want to do that I want to get that heat shrink right up there cover any of that red Keep it sort of exposed there, so he knows that is red. That's them ends done, so you can see which is the positive and which is the negative now, so it makes it a bit easier. The next step is to extend these input wires, because I'm going to keep that on beside where the original battery is, and I'm going to put a bit of wire up through, up to the bonnet area of the Land Rover. And how's the battery connector in there? That's the power dropper prepped and ready to go, so I have to fill into the Land Rover now. I'm going to leave the original battery in here, just in case the owner wants to go back to the original system at any time. I don't know why, but you never know. So we've got to make a hole about here somewhere. So with the Land Rover side, you can see it's coming out this hole. And there's a little channel here. Nice little handy channel, I can fit it up on underneath. So 
that's through there. With that fed up to the front of the Land Rover, I have to make another hole right about there. That should do it. That's the wires fed through to underneath the bonnet, and the, this is the area I intend to mount the little battery connector. That's that heat shrunk now and all joined together. All I've got to do is screw this down now, and that should be our battery adaption end complete. Here we are now. All the power under the bonnet. With the, the meter attached to the output of the voltage dropper, we can see we have 12 volts coming. So that's coming from the bonnet at 18 volts and being converted down here. So that's perfect, that's what we wanted. It's time to connect it all up. I put a little bit of electrical tape over the connection, but that's removable if need be, and you can go back to the original system. So I'm very happy with that. Get this thing together and see if she goes. With the Land Rover all connected, she can comfortably take this 5 amp. Or even, would you believe, a 9 amp flexible DeWalt with a DeWalt with a Milwaukee battery adapter. Well, it doesn't go quite right, but there's plenty of capacity for bigger batteries. That's my point. We'll see if we can get a go here now. I would say that's pretty good. The point of this exercise was to take an antiquated battery system and replace it with a more updated, easy to charge, quick to charge, more power delivery system. And I think we've done that today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more of this type of content.